Hey you guys, it's your girl Cree. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. In today's video, I'll be showing you my fragrance mists that I believe are good for transitioning into the fall. I do understand that some areas are not quite in fall yet, like they are still experiencing warm weather. Um, we have mid weather where I am in Ohio, 70s, sometimes maybe 80s, but for the most part, we're already experiencing those fall temperatures. So I'm very excited for fall. However, I don't want to just push it out the door. I definitely want to transition into it and I wanted something that'll be good for people who are experiencing warm weather, not just the cooler weather temps like we are. And so if that sounds like something you guys are interested in and you want to see this video, go ahead and continue to watch. If you find yourself watching this video and you do enjoy the content, please go ahead and hit that like button as well as subscribe if you want to see more videos from your girl. And with all that said, let's get into the video. These first two scents I'm not going to say much about because I say them in literally every Bath & Body Works video, it seems. I think all of the ones that I've had so far, I probably have mentioned these. I feel like these are transitional scents that can go into any season. I really don't feel like there's a season that I would not pull for either one of these. This first one is Fairy Tale, which you guys may know by now that this is a Duke 2 Libre. It's not like spot on, but the scent profile is definitely reminiscent of Libre from YSL so yes if you don't have that and you have this I definitely recommend that you pull this out for the transition into fall or any scent period literally this is good for any season so I recommend this anyway I'm not telling you guys to go out and get any of these scents that I showcase today please understand that I just want you to know if you have these in your collection that I recommend them to transition into the fall I definitely recommend these I don't really recommend that people go out and buy things that you don't already have based off of my opinion, unless it's something you have already had your eyes on or you had thought about. But I recommend you get your nose on things first because scents can be different for different people. You may pick up something completely different on your skin or on your clothes or in general versus what I pick up. So definitely get your nose on things first, especially if it's discontinued. That being said, this is not discontinued at the moment, but it was when I first got into fragrance mist again. So I do recommend that you go get this if you do want it, because it is on the site right now. You don't have to worry about going to a third party. So I'm not even gonna get into the fragrance notes because I've said it in previous videos. Please feel free to go back and check any of my previous videos, but this is one of my all time favorites. I definitely recommend it. And of course, there is Dahlia, which is discontinued. As I stated, I got this off of eBay. It's a little expensive. I don't recommend that you get it if you don't have it. You may just have to miss out on this one, unfortunately. I won't be buying anymore because it's it's like $30, y'all. It's not, it's not worth it, but I just love the scent so much. So I got two and that'll be it for me. I'm not gonna give you these fragrance notes either because like I said, they have been in previous videos. I don't wanna be too redundant. So I don't wanna spend too much time on them, but this is a dupe or said to be a dupe for Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. If you like that, you'll definitely like this. Even if you don't think it's an exact dupe, it's in the same family, so. It's a very nice pear type of scent. It's unique, it's very hard to describe. Even if I gave you the notes, it's still to me hard to describe these scents, even Good Girl. So just get your nose on it if you can, or if you have it, pull it out. I don't know if you can get your nose on this without purchasing it, So, but I do highly recommend. So the next one that I'm gonna give you is actually a dupe. You probably already know this if you've been watching videos on YouTube, but just in case you haven't and you're starting with me, this is In the Stars by Bath & Body Works. This is one of the dupes that is out there, the mini um, of Baccarat Rouge by 40. If you aren't aware, that's a very expensive niche fragrance that um, a lot of fragrance gurus rave about. I honestly don't like that particular fragrance i have a travel size of it um just to try it out and i really did not like that fragrance however out of several dupes that i have had or let me say similar profiles similar scent profiles this does have some of that dna in there it is not spot on i will not take away from the fragrance especially as expensive as it is and it may be way more complex but i will say this is the one that i actually do like this one goes a little more woody and I will give you the fragrance notes for this one because I don't think I featured it in any other videos. Those are Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. It's not too sweet. It has that Baccarat DNA, but it goes woody. And it's not masculine at all, but I just, 
something about it I enjoy in this one that I don't like in any of the other like similar scent profiles that, that are like this like Cloud by Ariana Grande which I do have a travel size of that and I still haven't gotten the bigger version because I really don't enjoy that scent. Something about Baccarat it makes my stomach turn and even with this as much as i love it i i don't reach for it a lot as you can see i have a little dent but it's not crazy because i just can't read i i can't stand whatever that is i don't know some people call it band-aid or plasticky that smell whatever it is i don't know i can't put my finger on it but something about it just makes my stomach turn and it's a beautiful scent i'm not saying i'm not hating on it but i'm just saying it's not something I gravitate towards. But out of all of the ones that are similar, this is the one that I gravitate towards. I've even had Midnight Bloom, I think is what it's called, by Victoria's Secret, which a lot of people say is very similar as well. I just didn't like it. I gave it away. So, yeah, but I highly recommend this, and I think this would be perfect to transition into the fall. Next one is Sunset Glow. So, Sunset Glow, the fragrance notes are fresh coconut, sparkling, Cherry Seltzer, Dreamy Moonflower, and Caramelized Vanilla. I know that I have featured this on my channel already, but I did want to bring it back out because like I said, some people are still experiencing that summer type of weather. This would be perfect going into the transition of where it's warm in the daytime and maybe it's cooler at night. I think this will be nice. This does have that DNA where some people say it's a dupe of Sol de Janeiro 62, which is the original charosa 62 the, this is like that it's reminiscent of it but it has that cherry note and it's a little more bubbly like i said it's cherry seltzer so it kind of gives you like a fizzy type of feel but i really enjoy it um and i think it would be good I actually have a nice little layering combo if you layer this with tom ford lost cherry or any dupes that you have of that it goes really good together and it really brings that out so this next one is a given this is fall and bloom and i understand that though it says fall just just i'm just saying it says fall but i feel like you can wear this whatever season you want to certainly you can wear it in the fall certainly you can wear it in the winter but i believe you can wear this in the spring and summer as well honestly this is another one just like fairy tale that you can wear all year long it's up to you just because it says fall and bloom don't get like turned off by that so if you don't know this is another dupe this is a dupe for barbarian hurt and this i will actually completely call a dupe because to me this is exact like, they literally got this on the nose. I'll read you the notes, but I, I wouldn't worry too much about the notes. Sometimes, for me, or a lot of times with the notes with Bath & Body Works, they don't always line up to what you smell or what is duping, but I'll give it to you. Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss is what's in here. It's a dead ringer for Burberry Her. Um, I'm not even the biggest Burberry Her fan. Again, if you don't know, it has that Baccarat type of DNA. There are some people who say that they don't get Baccarat at all in Burberry Her or this. I don't want to say, I don't want to come off wrong, but I really think people are delusional when they say they don't get any of the, like, not any of it. I can get if you're saying like, you know, you don't get it completely. Okay. I don't know what it is, but it's clearly in there. It's clearly in in the stars. It's clearly in Midnight Bloom. All of those cheaper scents where people are like, I don't get it. Ariana Grande Cloud, like, you're delusional if you're saying that. Like, I get it if you're saying that it's not exact, but come on. It's in there, and I'm sorry. Like, I feel like some people are a little jaded because they pay $300 plus dollars for the perfume and then they feel like it's been duped so many times and it's just being brought down but the truth is what it is and honestly it doesn't cost as much as these people make you pay for a lot of those perfumes and that's just that's just true tea it just doesn't cost that but we'll get into that more of that in another video but i'm just saying if you guys don't want to spend the dollar on burberry hurt or if you just want to get that scent profile and try it out like me and to see if you even like it or if it's something that you could vibe with i highly recommend that it's it's like the baccarat type of dna but it's a little bit different with some type of fruitiness in there and i have burberry hair but I'll probably end up getting rid of that if I don't use it because, again, it makes my stomach turn even still. So I may keep this and, like, get rid of that or sell it and get a scent that I actually like because I kind of want the elixir. So, yeah, you guys, I'm sorry. I kind of went off on a tangent, but, yeah, I highly recommend this. And this is in stores right now for fall season, so you can pick this up on your own. 
So now I'm going to go into like a little bit of a fresh category that I have in this video. I have like three different uh, categories. I have like the OGs, I have the dupes, and then I have some of these fresh ones. Then I have like a vanilla type of category. So now we're into the second category. This is the first one's going to be Indigo Dreams. I spoke about this in another video. The fragrance notes are bergamot water, glowing amber, and warm musk. To me, this is just a really warm freshy. This is definitely a freshy. If you don't know and you haven't seen my previous videos, again, please go back and check those. They're really good content that I have already filmed. However, I am a freshy lover. So if you guys are into freshies, you'll probably like this too. The only thing I will say is that this is very faint. So it's more like a skin scent. This is one of those scents you could wear maybe to work on an everyday basis, um, getting up and go because it's not going to be offensive to anyone. It can lean a little bit unisex or masculine. If you don't like that, then you won't like this. I do, I don't mind it, but I really enjoy this. It's a very warm, perfumey type of scent, but it's not off-putting and it's very fresh, definitely very fresh. Mm, I really, really love it. I wish it projected more, but it doesn't. So I don't recommend you go out and get it if you don't have it. But if you have it, go ahead and pull it out for this season. All right, and the next one in the freshy category is fresh coconut and cotton. I've also spoke about this. Coconut, coastal breeze, beachside cotton. Those are the notes. It's a very light and airy, cottony type of smell. Uh, it does have the coconut in there. I'm not the biggest coconut fan. However, it's done very well in this and I highly recommend it. If you can, I recommend you go get your nose on it and smell it. If you have it, definitely pull it out because I think it'll be good in this type of cool breezy type. The next one that I have, which is still kind of new to my collection, but I've already put a significant dent in it, you guys. I don't know if you can see. I don't think you can, but I'm like right here. Um, this is Sweater Weather. I mean, it's all in the name, sweater weather. So yeah, I think this is obviously perfect for this season. This is again, this is kind of leans a little bit masculine or unisex, but I love this scent. This is right along the same alley as this. Um, so if you like this Indigo Dreams, you'll definitely like this. It just gives airy, perfumey goodness. <laughs> Let's see what the notes were. Crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. Mm, I love it, you guys. I love me a good old apple and woody scent. So yeah, I highly recommend that. And the last one, this is actually an OG, so it could have went in this next category. So we're going to go ahead and say we're moving into the next category. I'm pretty sure this is original or um, this is not new to Bath & Body Works. Moonlight Path is what this is. And some people think this is like an older or grandma scent. I mean, to each his own, you know. It's fine if you feel that way. The notes are Night Blooming Jasmine, Blue Violet, Sheer Lavender, Lily of the Valley, and Soft Musk. This is just an easy going, like fresh out of the shower scent. Yeah, it's easy. I honestly don't think it projects. This is definitely more of a skin scent. I just think this is easy for those in the house type of cozy nights and maybe fresh out the shower going to bed type of scent. So I highly recommend that. Sensual Amber. So I don't know if I've featured this on my channel yet. So I've went back and forth with this scent. I have had it before. I believe somebody gifted it to me years ago um, in a lotion. And I went back and purchased it. I've given it away. And then on another fragrance mist sale, repurchased it. So here it is back in my collection. I feel like I should just keep it just because for sentimental reasons. And just in case it ever comes back around to me because I don't really reach for it at all. But it's still a beautiful scent. Um, fragrance notes are golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. It's just a very beautiful, very soft and ambery scent. Um, if you've seen in some of my other videos, I've spoke about how I don't really care for like vanilla and berries. And to me, amber kind of goes along those lines as well. But there is absolutely something fall like about this so if you're you're already experiencing a little bit of fall i certainly think if you have this you should pull it out of your collection it'll be good for that and if it's hot it's not going to be cloyingly sweet or anything like that it's a beautiful scent i highly recommend for transitioning and this next one is certainly an og this is sweet pea <laughs> If you're like me and you used to wear Bath & Body Works back in the day when you were younger, Sweet Pea is definitely an OG. It's something that we all used to have. It's definitely got nostalgic, sentimental type of value for me. 
Oh, it's beautiful. It's a good one. Our Sweet Pea, Water Repair, Sheer Freesia, Luscious Raspberry, and Soft Musk. It literally smells like those notes. I can't lie. This is a beautiful fruity type of floral scent. It's airy. It's perfect for like summertime. So if you guys are still experiencing summer, you'll definitely enjoy this. But I feel like while it's breezy outside and it's not necessarily cold, but it's not really hot either, this would be good with that too. Because smelling this wafting in the wind is going to be everything. Definitely an inoffensive, pretty, soft, feminine scent. Highly yes, recommend. I forgot to mention this in previous videos and I'm going to go ahead and put it in this one. This one is called Hello Beautiful. I have not gotten a whole lot of air out of this because I'm not a super floral girl, but I must say, this is one of the most beautiful florals that I have ever experienced from Bath & Body Works. The fragrance notes are white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, perfumey type of floral feminine scent. That's really all I can say. It is soft. It is feminine. It is just like the name. Beautiful. Literally, it's beautiful. You go outside and you get to wafting this in the air and getting whiffs of it. This is, it don't get more feminine than this. I mean, and look at the bottle. Like, this is slept on. Even by me, I had to check myself. This was slept on. So I'm definitely keeping this in my collection. If you guys have this, I think this would be good for this time of season too. Not for fall, but transitioning into fall. Like I said, warm mornings or cool mornings, <laughs> warm or hot midday, and then getting down into those lower temperatures at night. This would be beautiful. Highly recommend. Guys, to my last category, which is probably my favorite. Mm, maybe not, but I love me some vanilla and who doesn't love vanilla when it's like coming up on fall time. This is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. This is a repackage of Confetti Cake Pop, I believe. So I got this, which Confetti Cake Pop is discontinued. And I believe this is discontinued too, if I'm not mistaken, unless I got this at the SAS and I don't believe I did. I believe I got this discontinued. And to my surprise, I was very shocked when i got this to realize that it also smelled like another one which i'll show you next but the fragrance notes are creamy cake frosting rainbow sprinkles and vanilla bean this is just the most cakeyest most decadent sweetest whipped cream vanilla frosting cupcakey type of vanilla and that's what your girl likes a real juvenile childish type of vanilla i don't mind it i don't mind it at all i'm not above it i really do I love this scent, but I was very shocked when people were raving about this and they were just saying they wish they would bring it back, but they had since come out with Wrapped in Vanilla. This is my favorite vanilla, period, from Bath & Body Works, but to me, these are the same. To me, they're they're very similar. If It may be like small nuances, maybe to my nose, my little immature type of nose. Maybe I can't pick up the subtle nuances, but... To me, these are like one and the same. So if you have one, you have the other. I don't think you need to be worried about trying to get this or the confetti K-pop. Because if that's this and this, I promise it smells just like this. So, but maybe it's just me. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all feel like these are like very similar. This one has soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. I love wrapped in vanilla. I don't know why Bath and Body Works be getting rid of their best scents or not bringing them. Like what's hard about it? Like. It's a hit. Bring it back. Keep it there. Like, I don't know. What always makes sense to me doesn't make sense to others. Common sense ain't always common. <laughs> highly recommend this. If you guys have it, I highly recommend it. And actually, out of all of these, and you know how I said I don't really tell you people to go out and go and get. If you don't have this, I do recommend you get your hands on it if you can. If you can be sure that you're getting an authentic, real version, I definitely recommend this because this is amazing. I'm not even going to hold you. If you like that juvenile, sweet, decadent, gourmand type of vanilla, this is you. This is you. Highly recommend. Whipped coconut milkshake. You guys, this 
has blown my mind. I got this at the SAS sale and I remember reviews coming out and saying that they were really like disappointed with this and that it didn't project as well and it wasn't what they hoped for. Y'all, I'm so sad that I only got one of these and I didn't even get the body cream. I just got this in the shower gel. Y'all, if I could get three more of these, I would. This was an amazing scent. I completely love it. Y'all can't see, pretty much opaque, but I have to be like down here, y'all. I am so hurt and I will be trying to get my hands on another one of these. The fragrance notes were vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut and sugar, amber, and baby, that is what you get. It is beautiful. This is the most beautiful, like I said, I'm not into coconut like that, but when it's done right, it's done right. And the coconut in this reminds me of the coconut and coconut and pineapple. You know, it's like really sweet, really fresh shaved coconut with ice cream notes. Ugh. You guys, and I would never eat that, but to smell it, ooh, y'all, it's beautiful. And it's that sugary amber in the base. Listen, the dry down to this is unmatched. I love this and I'm going to get my hands on another one. But yes, if you guys got this, definitely pull this out for this time of the season. If it's still warm where you are, you definitely going to like it, but I don't know about anybody else, but I'm the type of person who likes ice cream when it's cold outside. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. This is giving me the vibes. This is giving me the approaching fall vibes. I love this and I highly recommend it. So this one is actually new to my collection. And this is Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. This just came out. I just got this on the last sale for Fine Fragrance Mist. And I actually truly enjoyed this. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I do. The fragrance notes are Suede Petals, Soft Sandalwood, and Vanilla Bean. So this is like a floral vanilla. But it's very soft and airy. I've been wearing this. Uh, it's good for easy going, like out on the go. Like I said, making runs. Maybe you got some things to do on a Saturday. It's just an easy vanilla scent. If you like vanilla, I can't see you not liking this. It's not super decadent. It's nothing like wrapped in vanilla or anything like that. It's just a really nice, easygoing, floral type of vanilla. It's nice though. It's very nice. I think it's an easy crowd pleaser. If you haven't tried it, get your nose on it before you purchase. And the last one, this is new to my collection. <laughs> and I had a time with this one, y'all. I'm not gonna lie beach nights this is not my first time purchasing this if you don't know this is a discontinued scent if you have it you are so lucky if you got this when it first came out whenever it first came out i can't tell you um however let's get into the fragrance notes the fragrance notes are toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze s'mores accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla it's a beautiful scent i like it but i must admit that i was a little taken aback with it i was shocked at how it smelled i don't think i was expecting what i got so i'll say in the initial i really enjoy the the initial smell of this the toasted marshmallow and seesaw breeze i think that's what i may get in the initial and i do like it in the dry down i guess i expected to get a really creamy vanilla and i just didn't forgive me y'all because I bought this before and I thought that man, I got it off of eBay and I thought I got a fake that's when I started realizing like oh all of these aren't real like that's what I thought I thought I got a fake because it smelled kind of mildewy for lack of a better term it smelled like mildewy in the dry down and I was like this is not this can't be what they raving about on my skin that's what I, I got and so I immediately sent that back y'all I'm sorry and I was like, I, this time came around. And I'm like, I'm going to try it again just to see if maybe I had a dud or something, you know, or it was a fake scent. So I got it again, y'all. And I could confirm that honestly, this gives me the same thing. But now that I'm exposed to more scents, I think I'm not so much getting that mildew in a dry down. I don't know if I can put my finger on what it is. I watched the girl, um, what is her name? Queen of the Geeks. She does all Bath and Body Work content like all the time, like almost every day, I think. And I like her though. She's she's cool. And I remember her looking up her review of this and I remember her saying she didn't really care for it. And she thinks that maybe it was like that beach driftwood that didn't belong in there. And I don't know if it's that. 
or not. I've smelled driftwood in some of my candles that I've gotten on candle day and I enjoy those, but y'all, I don't know. It's something in it that just don't sit right with me at times. So I'm still going to work with it. I'm definitely going to keep this in my collection because like I said, I really like that opening, but it doesn't stay like that. Nonetheless, I know you want to like, well, if you feel that way, why you got it in this video? I have it in the video because I do understand that a lot of people like it. And so what I'm saying is not to go out and go get it. I did that on my own. But if you have this and you enjoy this, then go ahead and pull it out for the season. Because what better season for, you know, uh, marshmallows and s'mores and creamy vanilla and sea salt brie like this is perfect for that when it's warm in the daytime and cooler at night like this is perfect this gives me campfire this gives me toasty marshmallows so what better than beach nights it just doesn't i don't get what i feel like the other people were getting from it and so that's unfortunate for me hate that for me but um you guys this is the end of my video i'm gonna wrap it up i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any recommendations go ahead and let me know in the comments what you will be using to transition into the file if there are any scents that you recommend let me know if there are any scents that are out right now that you feel like i should add to my collection or get my nose on or that i might like or perfumes you guys because i'm always in the market to give me a nice perfume so um you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i definitely have a couple more coming up as well as this i have my victoria's secret recommendations as well so you guys continue to watch my videos if you like this video hit the like button go ahead and subscribe and i will see you in the next one y'all have a good one